Ingeniosity is the key. completely locked. Now that I have the key, I will finally find out what is hiding behind this restaurant. These docks look different. This side must be less frequented by tourists. The sect has already been there. They were really harassing people wherever they were. This door can be unlocked from the other side. This is a sea organ. It turns waves into music. That's poetic. Behind all great puzzles lies an even greater myth. For each coin you can get, a prize awaits you near Nico the Robot in George's workshop. No puzzle can resist me. Ch 
Ok. This letter was intended for the municipality of St. Exel. It is written by one of the fish- I wanted to inform you that I cannot give you back my license plate and empty the locker because I lost my boat near the lighthouse and I forgot the padlock code. Do you have the possibility of recovering my boat? Or at least the plate so that I can get my things back? Town of St. Exel. Following on the storm warning, fishermen's lockers need to be emptied earlier this year. Please get your number plates back on the board and revert your lockers' codes to their initial values. P.S. In case you forgot, the initial code is your number plate number. lockers were not emptied, so I need to find two boat number plates out there. And with a bit of luck, the fishermen didn't change the code. I found this box one morning in front of our house. It just had MB written on it. I went to the post office to check if it was an error, but they were not the ones who delivered it.
it's the same hatch as the one to go to my attic. But this one is not ready to move. Impossible to open. Opening this box didn't feel right. I can't remember why we did it. Pierre felt the same way about it. Pretty unconventional to receive a hazmat suit out of the blue. We left it in the attic, thinking its owner would show himself. But now I know why you didn't, Matthew Banks. Great. More music stuff from Pierre. He had so many cassettes here. At times, I wondered if he wanted to be mummified with the loose tapes. remember. It was during the month of September. The weather was still warm and cloudless. It promised to be a beautiful day. I had gone to take out the trash when I saw this big cardboard box lying there in front of the house door. Above were inscribed in bold initials MB. At the time, I didn't know what those letters stood for. It wasn't until much later that I learned they meant Matthew Banks, the former tenant of the house. So I didn't ask myself any more questions and went to the post office. It must also be said that it wasn't the first time I had to return a package that didn't belong to me. But this time it was different. When I handed the parcel to the secretary, she replied that she had never seen anything like it, and that she would not take care of it. When I got home, I couldn't help it. I opened the package. Maybe I shouldn't have. A surprise sure was waiting for me inside. This was a kind of scientific suit that was to be used to protect against chemicals and deadly viruses or that kind of ultra-nice things. I was paralyzed, shocked. I wanted to understand, why did the former tenant need this kind of outfit? For the garden? His work? But then what kind of work was it? As soon as he got home, I showed the package to Pierre. He wasn't really comfortable with the idea of this sort of thing hanging in our house either. We relegated it to the attic. It's not as if the place for such an item was in the living room. We thought at the time, maybe Matthew will want to recover what belongs to him.
I've collected all the possible prizes from Nono. He couldn't resist me. You are near one of the entrances to the White Manor. This path is directly connected to its water system. The Duke de Bliard built its various accesses to defend St. Exel from potential assault. Ultimately never used, over time it ended up a piece of decoration. The de Bliard family made their own wine? That's not very common in the area. I wonder if it's good. Completely locked. In front of you is the moat system devised by the Duke de Bliard. This system has undergone some modernization over time. Through a rather elaborate logic, the moat can direct its water to supply the Assumption Church, the Flower House, and even the Darrow property at the edge of the Keys. Even if this system has some electrical assistance to facilitate its use, the operation of the system remains fairly basic. Nothing.
the wheel won't budge in this weather. The wheel won't budge in this weather. the wheel while the machinery is still in operation. With the water gone, it's safe to go down the ladder again. the wheel while the machinery is still in operation.
progress. It was complicated, but we always knew you would end up in my hands. It was complicated, but we always knew you would end up in my hands. I like this new grip. A better hold means faster reloads. Thank you. 
I know that Heritage Day is coming up soon, but I won't be there to open my garden. The manager of the Panier à Crab restaurant, who is a friend, has a duplicate of the key. He must surely keep the key safe there. I'll let you see that with him. Regards. The artificial canal in front of you finds its source at the White Manor. The fresh water that came in abundantly made it easier to clean fishing products. As the winter cold can freeze the water and cause this canal to burst, the city built a system to control how much water arrives here at the White Manor. Hey, beauty. There is a cross at the church waiting for you. We are. I will finally find out what this crypt is hiding from me. of tombs and vaults. Everything was true. Badges and clothing stolen from Lacren. The devotees planned to strike a blow and take control of the lighthouse. At the same exact moment, people discovered their sordid staging in the church.
that if you are here with me tonight, it's because it has chosen you, too, my most devoted. We have been preparing for months. The direction of our destiny will finally shift. We've done everything the Protector wanted us to do. We offered it the bodies of all those who wronged it. Each family through generations has repaid its debt. Their children's turn has come tomorrow, and that's a promise. We will finally be able to get in touch with it. Many people will stand in our way, but their efforts will be in vain. Once the village feast is over, when people will discover our messages in the church, we will infiltrate the lighthouse and take over the basement. We know that the Roch Alcel has equipment to send the message, and we will use it to contact our divinity. Patrick, you will block the front door of the lighthouse so that no one can get out. Hélène, you will help me in the basement. As for the others, you will take care of sending our new offerings. The information that you stole from the ornithologist at the top of the bell tower was decisive. He thought he understood the world by observing the air. <laughs> without knowing that the truth was hiding at the bottom of our sea. These observations... I understand why the town stopped ordering these. Know what? I will help myself. Generously. And the offerings we made from the beaches of Saint-Exil allowed me to know where the entity was waiting for us to contact it. They still had some gas in the tank. They were not ready to stop anytime soon. Doubt may cross your minds this last night, but be reassured. All our spiritual pains are also our chances of redeeming ourselves. We have reached the point of no return. Tomorrow is our big day. Rest and meet me near the lighthouse at 11 a.m. This music sheet must be important if she hid it here. It must allow access to information that she kept preciously for herself. Yes. To complete such maps, she most likely found a high vantage point.
The atmosphere is incredible. Nothing. <laughs> that bell is gigantic, but this one won't bring chocolate eggs for Easter anymore. This ornithologist had the courage to go upstairs every time? Either you're committed, or you aren't. I really hope to find answers to my questions. No doubt, there was an ornithologist here. There are most likely no better places to study birds in nature. This chair is completely torn up. You spent a lot of time here, didn't you? Compilation of observations on nature and animals. This document is heavy. He's been compiling information for months and months. It will take me some time to study it. Please bring me some answers. I'm so tired. He also left me some kind of nautical maps? That's the sea depth of the village's surroundings. Pages seem to have been torn out of these documents. She must have found a place to send the signal and kept it to herself. I will probably be able to sort through the tapes the spy stole and find out if the lighthouse had any luck recording this thing underwater. With these maps, it will give me the right spot to send that signal. But I need to read through this all first.
The documents I found at the top of the bell tower are incredible. It's clear now that the whole cult thing is based on the observations of a very talented ornithologist. This person knew a lot about nature and how to monitor changes happening throughout the region. He made precise observations regarding birds' behavior and, apparently, the tide changed its rhythm? It became unregular and seems to get further and further from its synchronicity with the moon. He also mentioned the fountain's water. Apparently it comes from a very deep source under the ground. He believes the water touches these blue rocks that are responsible for what's happening here. His theory is that something made these rocks resurface because of... a mining process happening under the sea? He installed something to stop the water in case it was dangerous for the population. But the snow probably broke it, and that's why it's back. I also found different maps regarding the sea depth at large of St. Axel. He was particularly interested by three wide cavities. I took the maps with me, but they are drawn on transparent material. I will need the projector in the basement to display them. Based on his observations, I believe he predicted the location of the water columns? Feels like he knew already that these columns would be there. Or maybe it's just the fact that the birds were attracted by that very spot early on? He had everything under his eyes. But the cult took everything and put it to bad use. And what for? Sending a message to a divinity with the lighthouse equipment? Maybe I could use that equipment too and send a signal to finally know what's hidden down there. If I use the encrypted tape the spy left to spot where the submarine has been in the ornithologist map's region, maybe I can pinpoint a location where to send the signal to? I need to check these tapes and see what I can find. Pierre's tape collection. Insomnia will be a nice excuse to put it in order. Might even find some of the music he made for me. I could use the comforting. It's missing some points. I should continue decrypting the tapes. It's missing some points. I should continue decrypting the tapes.
Let's listen to what the Rorqual cell recorded at the coordinates found by the ornithologist. I'm sure it's just a big fish. Fisherman? Not really interesting. Too. Has changed coordinates. The ghost ship will soon be within range. Awaiting your orders. Transmission 1043, 80 second day. We are still waiting for the return of the analysis probe after the loss of signal three days ago now. The non military personnel in the building seems agitated. The radiation level is back below the threshold value, but. A dive below the 400-meter mark still does not seem recommended. At 
At our level, we confirm that the residual image has changed coordinates. The ghost ship will soon be within range. Awaiting your orders. Transmission 1043, 80 second day. We are still waiting for the return of the analysis probe after the loss of signal three days ago now. Found you, damn submarine. Transmission 823, 75th day in I immersion. The laser is finally operational following the repairs. We sent the first pulse burst at 85 joules minus one day. We are getting closer to a residual reflection located above the layer of the whales, the deepest point of the perimeter. Awaiting confirmation before diving below 350 meters. Transmission 823, 75th day in I immersion. The laser is finally operational following the repairs. We sent the first pulse burst at 85 joules minus one day. We are getting closer to a residual reflection located above the layer of the whales, the deepest point of the perimeter. Awaiting confirmation before diving below 350 meters. Transmission 823, 75th day in I immersion. The laser is finally operational following the repairs. We sent the first pulse burst at 85 joules minus one day. We are getting closer to a residual reflection. Three coordinates validated. That should help me pinpoint the location. Let's use these maps on the projector now. I have all the points now. Let's try to make one of these maps fit.
Mm, not this one. Close. There's got to be a better area. That's it. The first coordinate is when they approached the area and detected something with their instruments. Then they circled around the ghost ship and sent out a probe which never returned. The last recording was when they decided to go deeper. And something went very wrong. Poor bastards. Let's send a signal over there and see what's under the sea. To the lighthouse. So, I have to send a signal to... something? To someplace unknown? Doesn't sound too scientific, Elise. Let's hope I don't end up like a submarine. doing the same shit the cult did?
have I done? Forty-two. It's the exact time of the attack. Did I fix it? My sky was torn forever. I realized life would never be the same again. And I couldn't bear this alone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 